Hello everyone, and welcome back to Business Finance, Chapter 4, Problem 45. You've just turned 30 years old and have received your MBA and have, and have accepted your first job. Now you must decide how much money to put away into your retirement plan. The plan works as follows. Every dollar in the plan earns 7% each year. You cannot withdraw until you, see, until you retire on your 65th birthday. After that point, you can make withdrawals whenever you see fit. You decide that when you will plan when you will plan to live to work to 100 and work until you turn 65. You estimate that to live comfortably in retirement, you will need $100,000 per year starting at the end of the first year of the retirement and ending on your 100th birthday. You contribute the same amount to the plan at the end of every year that you work. How much will you need in order to contribute to each fund to fund your retirement? So this is fun because it's a two-part question and it's pretty easy to solve as well. We're going to set it up as so, and the first step we're going to figure out is how much you've accumulated at the end of the 65th year. In order to do that, we're going to enter in our 100,000. We're going to turn that negative. As you can see, this is our initial amount. Uh, we're going to have to do 35 years, which is the amount of years between 100 years on the 100 years living minus the 65 for your retirement age. The rate is at 7%, and for this, we're going to use our PV formula, which is simply just taking the rate the total number of withdrawals and the withdrawal per period giving us a grand total of 1.2 million dollars we'll take that 1.2 million and that becomes our future value and now we're going to be calculating the deposit amount per period so for this again we're going to take the 1.2 from up here drop it down to that future value our number of deposits which will be set to 35 at a rate of seven percent we then throw this into the PMT formula at 7%, 35, 0, and then the 1.9, 1.29, excuse me. So again, we have our rate at 7%. We have our NPER at 35. We have the present value at 0. The future value is equal to that negative 1.2 million. If you did it right, you should get $9,366.29. Remember, if you're doing it like this, you're doing it right.